Okay, we're working on the Autolite 4100. It's a four barrel. And this one here is, I don't know what year it is, but uh, the model is, uh, like this one is 64 and later. Don't assume you have a certain one on your car because who knows what's been swapped, hasn't been swapped around. But anyway, we're working on the accelerator pump circuit here. And uh, this is where the primary accelerator pump goes. And I want to point out that uh, this here is the, uh, this lower hole is a discharge. So when you're pumping the gas, that's where it's going to force the fluid through. And the intake is right here in the middle row. And uh, the check valve for it is one of these little rubber umbrella things. And uh, it may not be exactly like this as far as the stem goes, but you got to put the stem in the hole. and you can put a little silk and spray lubricant on it to get it in there. The, one, the ones I like are a little different. They got a long stem on them so you can get inside here with a pair of needle nose and pull it through and, uh, and then cut off the excess so that it doesn't hit the float here because if it does rub on the float your float may not work right. So keep that in mind. Okay. trouble getting that one in there but anyway this is what happens here when this is when it's in there straight uh, your diaphragm when it's uh, contracts this way it kind of forms a vacuum and helps pull this valve open and allows fuel to fill up in here in the reservoir and to get that together you put your spring on here like this and you got to put your little diaphragm on there. And incidentally, our diaphragms, we've never had any trouble with them on as far as ethanol goes. Okay. This goes like a so. So this hole right here is the relief hole for the primary accelerator pump. And if you have gas coming out of that when you pump it, that means your diaphragm is uh, no good. It's leaking. Replace your diaphragm. Fortunately, uh, all but 1957 uh, uses the same diaphragm. And I believe this diaphragm is actually the same as a two, uh, what's on a two barrel. Okay, let me get this closed. I got started. Let's close it in a minute. Now, so the uh, hopefully you can see that little raised tube right down here. So that bottom hole in the diaphragm reservoir is uh, where the fuel goes into this passageway right here and up through the main discharge here, okay? That's the route, so you want to make sure when you blow air through this little small hole here on the bottom uh, that I showed you earlier that uh, it's nice and clear and you got air coming out through that hole or blow through here and it should be coming out through the accelerator pump diaphragm. These uh, diaphragm housings often get warped and so you can take them and uh, get some a flat piece of metal, flat stock, and put it in your vise and heat it up. Tighten your vise a little bit, heat it up, and then let it cool, and that should straighten it out, unless it's too far gone. Okay. So 
let's see. So before I finish putting this together, I want to uh, check the accelerator pump diaphragm to make sure it's working right. And so I'm going to take, so i got some mineral spirits here, and I'm going to fill up the float bowl here. Should be plenty. Doesn't go up high enough to go to the secondary, but we're not worried about the secondary right now. Okay, so um, so as I say, as the accelerator pump, as this lever comes back to, to what I call neutral or home position, uh, it pulls the fluid in, and you can probably see how it's. You can see the fluid coming out here out of this metal hole. See it? That's what you want. Okay, so we're good with that. Now we're going to put the check ball in and we're going to put the check weight on top of it and hold it down slightly, not too hard. And just want to make sure that's not going to pump fluid past the check ball. If it is pumping fluid past there, uh, take a, uh, a brass drip punch, preferably, and put it down there and tap on a little bit with a hammer to help seat it. Don't uh, tap on too hard, you'll get it stuck in there. Okay, so then it's just a matter of putting that in and I uh, already got the gasket on my, oop, I lost the screw down there. Okay, so I got my gasket on here, and so put it back in where the where it go. And actually, I take this out, put it in afterwards. Okay, and then the screw we got to have the gasket on. See how it's hollowed out there, and this is where the fuel flows through this little hole here, and it's there. You go. So whether you have the top on or the top off, like we do, the fuel is going to squirt out of here when you're pumping the gas. See it squirt? Got two strong squirts. That means your diaphragm is working good. And if you're getting a hesitation, that's the first thing you want to look at. If those squirts are strong uh, uh, through the whole cycle of pushing that down, uh, you're or pushing the throttle as you open, then uh, you're good to go there. Okay, thank you for watching.